Yo, what's going on guys? It's Brian and Jim once again with Drink a Beer and Play a Game and today we are looking at the Typing of the Dead. <laughs> God, I'm such a nerd. Alright, originally released in 1999, this was an arcade game at first. How does this work as an arcade game, you ask? Goddamn Asians! Uh, anyway, racism aside, basically you get a giant ass arcade cabinet with a big monitor and two full keyboards. It's the goofiest goddamn thing you'll ever see. All yeah, where to get started? It's the... Oh, Jesus Christ. Even goofier than even the Yu-Gi-Oh fucking uh, arcade machines. And yes, those do exist in Japan. Exactly. The, uh, anyway, like we said, it came out in 1999. It came to the Dreamcast in a perfect port in 2000. It's a remake of House of the Dead 2, just extremely goofy. I mean, for fuck's sake, your backpacks and your guns are replaced with a Dreamcast strapped to your back with a giant battery and a keyboard. This game is awesome. <sighs> All right, graphically, don't worry, guys. Even though I might have a certain hatred for this game, I'm still going to be fair with the way I scored it. So looking at the graphics... It looks just like it does in the arcade. And at this point, House of the Dead 2 is a little dated, but it's still fine. I mean, all the creatures have good detail. The avatars, they all look good. So there's nothing to really complain. The one reason we might not have given this game higher is you don't even really have a chance to appreciate the graphics. Not that in the regular House of the Dead you would, because you're shooting. But this time, you're really just looking at the text box, and that's really where your eyes are focused 95% of the time. Unless there's a cutscene, of course. But either way, me and Jim, we liked it. I gave it a 7, Jim gave it an 8. And as far as a beer requirement meter goes, I'm adding three beers. Three? Three. One, because... Okay, I'll give it that's a goofier version of House of the Dead. Comes off lazy to me. Two. Lazy? I, two, I don't like texting. And three... Asians. Three beers. Such a bastard. All right, the sound. Well, one thing that's going to be distracting right away is the sound of your keyboard going off. This is one of those old school keyboards from the 90s, so they were loud back then. But... It takes us back to our childhoods, so, in another goofy way, we like it. Also, in-game, the voice acting. Holy crap. House of the Dead was always known for their extremely bad, extremely cheesy voice acting. It's Resident Evil 1 bad, but that makes it awesome as well. The music in the game, you're not really going to have the time to fully appreciate it, and it's okay, and it definitely fits the theme of the game, and it's very loud, and it's, you know, pretty well orchestrated. You just, it's not memorable at all. It's, it's slightly above average. I liked it a little more than Brian did. I gave it a six, he gave it a five. And I'll add two beers just for that voice acting. You're going to need to be a little drunk to appreciate it more. All right, the control. Now, this is the biggest area where me and Jim disagree. And as you're about to see, it's not by that much, but it's a typing game. Now, for any kids today, I don't know if they... Awesome typing game! Yeah. Jim loves typing games because he was that nerd in typing class that always did so well while I was off playing Oregon Trail. I, ne I don't like typing. I'm not a good typer. I can do it fast enough, but I am completely spoiled by autocorrect and autospell and yada yada yada. Jim, on the other hand, he's crazy with typing. And once you see our drinking game video, you'll understand what I mean. But anyway... If you're not a good typer, you're not going to have fun with this game. If you can at least manage typing, you'll find some fun. And if you're a master typer like Jim, then you're going to love the shit out of it. So, here's our scores. I gave it a 7, he gave it a 10, and I'm adding 4 more beers. Just for Jim being a son of a bitch. What? It's a typing game! You type! How is it not a 10? The gameplay. Obviously, heavily influenced by the control. It's a typing game, so it's either a love it or hate it kind of thing. We can both admit that. And you go around, but besides just your normal typing and trying to save people before they get killed or saving yourself. It's just a typing game. Stop trying to make it more than what it is. Incorrect. There's a couple game modes. You get the regular... Do you type in all those modes? Yes, you do. But... Exactly. You get the regular game mode. You get the special mode for the Dreamcast in which you can hoard uh, items. 
and there's a boss fight mode where you just fight the bosses. And, I mean, the game does have its quirks. If you're halfway through typing one name, you can't switch to another one. You have to finish off that one, so that can leave you open sometimes in the more hectic parts to some easy hits. But besides that, it's House of the Dead and you're just typing. I don't know what else to say. Brian gave it a 6 and I gave it a 9. I liked it a lot, he's a little pissy pants. So, I'm gonna give it another two beers just for the confusion your fingers can get in sometimes. All right, as far as the originality goes, let me just give a warning out there. Me and Jim do not claim to know everything about video games, just a shit ton. To our knowledge, this is the first video game that really has a typing-based system for control. Now, of course, we are aware of the games that in, like, Computer Lab where you just you type little words and it's almost like a little animation. But to really convert a complete game mechanic into a typing at this pace, we've never seen it before. So it gets it definitely gets points for being first of that. Other than that, though, it is exactly like House of Dead 2 and there's really nothing new added. So I'm giving it a 6. Jim's giving it a 7. And I'm only going to add two more beers just because we're so goddamn unsure of if this is the first typing game. If you know better, let us know in the comments. All right. Replayability. What can we say? It's an arcade game. They're made to be played over and over and over again. And with memory cards or even the VMU, you can save your scores. So you can always try and go for that better score each and every time. Now, if you're a daring soul, you can make a drinking game out of it like we did. Wink, wink. Or... You can just do some couch co-op with it and try to get through the game. It's really fun. Uh, unfortunately, when we were recording this, I only had one Dreamcast uh, keyboard, so we couldn't fully experience it, but it's there, and it's fun. There's not a lot to say here. We gave it eights, and I'll give it one beer just for us needing to have two keyboards for the Dreamcast for it. All right, so overall, all kidding aside, I don't think this is the worst game or anything like that. I'm not a fan of the mechanic, but yes, I did have fun, and once again, come back this Friday and check out our drinking game. You're going to see me get my ass whooped, but I still had fun. It is a frantic pace. You will find yourself just wishing you were a better typer when you're getting your ass whooped by some undead zombies, but either way, there's tons of fun to be had here, especially if you're playing with your buddies, and if you like House of the Dead, it's just a nice twist on it. Also, one more thing. If you're a shitty typer and you really want to get better, this is one of the best edutainment games out there. Ah! Jesus! What the hell is that for? Fucking edutainment? You know what? Just for that? Like Carmen San Diego! I'm not gonna change my score, but I'm adding five more beers just for Jim saying that. Oh my. So, I gave it a seven, Jim gave it an eight. Alright, guys, thanks for watching the video. Let us know what you think. And uh, make sure you check out our drinking game. And if you're brave enough, you should try it too. While playing this game, we're going to have to recommend pairing it with Maple Mistress. Holy shit, is this beer delicious. You got pumpkin flavors, you got maple syrup flavors, and you got a whole lot of alcohol. It's a perfect combination to just fuck you up and leave you enjoying a really good beer. Plus, if you're like me, you're going to get really frustrated with this goddamn game, so you're going to need something to take the edge off. Remember, guys, drink your beers and play your games responsibly, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, or, even better, subscribe to us. See you next time, guys.